Uh, so we are going to contract directly with the private labs in this state. There are about 200 labs in this state. The Department of Health routinely works with about 28 labs, which are expert in this kind of testing and virology. We had a call with the 28 labs today. Uh, we informed them that they should get up, get running, and start moving forward with testing. There's still some complexity that the FDA needs to sign off on the actual protocols of some of these tests, uh, and uh, that is still complicating the situation, but this will greatly increase our testing capacity as we get these 28 labs up and running. Uh, we're also announcing that uh, CUNY and SUNY, starting March 19th, will move to a distance learning model. CUNY will help reduce the density in New York City. SUNY will help reduce the density in downstate New York. Downstate is where we have the highest density of cases now. I've also spoken today uh, with hundreds of business leaders, primarily in New York City. I've asked them voluntarily to help reduce the density. There are a number of ways they can do this, different work shifts, some people work early, some people work late. Uh, different teams, one team works one week, the other team works the other week. But again, ways to reduce density in the city. Uh, telecommuting, working from home. All the experts say social distancing. You should be more than six feet from someone. Try walking down a New York City sidewalk uh, and be six feet from people. It would be virtually impossible. Uh, so reducing density, how do you do that? Ask the businesses uh, to cooperate. We're also going to be making a decision on the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade. We'll make that decision later on. I want to speak with a few more people, but I've been speaking with health experts, Dr. Fauci, who I believe is one of the best in the nation, uh, who I've spoken to a number of times. He, testified today, and this is his strong recommendation. Just reduce large gathering. We are asking uh, the legislature to pass a bill that says people will be paid by their employer if they're on quarantine. Uh, lead by example, New York State will pay any person who is quarantined who is an employee of New York State. Uh, public transit. We've asked them statewide to double the cleaning protocol. There's conflicting information on how long the virus lives on a hard surface, plastic or stainless steel. It was at first a couple of hours. Uh, then some people said up to 12 hours. Some people now say up to 24 hours. Some people say maybe a little longer than 24 hours. Uh, we want to double the cleaning protocol just to make sure uh, New Yorkers are confident. Uh, there was a situation in White Plains where an attorney who practiced at uh, Westchester County Courthouse in uh, the White Plains Courthouse tested positive. Six courtrooms are closed for cleaning, and employees who had contact with that attorney uh, will be on precautionary quarantine, and uh, anyone who needs a test, we will do. The overall number of cases... In uh, Westchester, you see again 13 new cases. That is probably the single most troubling point in the state right now. Uh, 48, 12 new ones in New York City, 28 in Nassau, 212 statewide. We have 212 cases in the state of New York, 32 are hospitalized. We're looking at a test that would test for uh, antibodies uh, that the body produces to fight the coronavirus. Uh, but that's a test that the Department of Health is working on. Mm -hmm.